looking pretty good at the moment. So this is our probably our big day since the tour started. So um, hopefully um, you know, we get through today and then we know where we're at. But it's um, yeah, at the moment it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I think um, you couldn't you couldn't time it better in terms of uh, turning up. And the weather's good, but also you know Brisbane, Gold Coast. Uh, I think it does help waking up. A bit of heat, big yellows in the sky, and it does mean adapting in. And boys are up early this morning out there, and then we're running around. I think the you know the body clock will start to kick in here pretty quick, and I think that's that's all part of our preparation for the test as well, is getting that into into play as, as quick as we can. And um, the boys are um, got plenty of energy in the mornings anyway, you know, at the moment. Um, well, I think they've watched a bit of Super Rugby, and I think uh, you know. The challenge of Test Match Footy is coming in that first week and trying to put something together that that, that you're about, I suppose, and that's what their, their challenge will be. And, and if you look at how the, rugby, the Super Rugby teams are playing, um, they're playing some pretty good rugby in terms of try scored and, and a physical approach. Um, you know, they've got some um, some exciting players that uh, obviously the fans here will be looking looking to see um, get their hands on the ball. You know. Yeah, yeah, it's been great, Japan. Yeah, I've uh, been there two months, so uh, getting my head around it. Uh, we'll just over two months, um, uh, but it's always part of the challenge, you know, adapting to cultures and all the rest of it. But it's, um, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Does it change anything about the role with Ireland? Well, I won't, won't be there full time, but it doesn't really change too much, uh, you know. And um, there's some, the provinces do a great job. The communication is is pretty straightforward. Uh, most people have some kind of app now to keep in touch, it's just a matter of making sure you're using the right one. Um, but apart from that, you know, the, the, it's got good relationships. Um, I've known Joe long enough that I, I can almost predict when he's going to call me. So uh, I'll email him or we'll text him first, you know. Um, and I'll try and do that at four o'clock in the morning, so they'll pay him back for some of the emails he sent me at that time. <laughs> um, um, but and, and we've got the, the coaching group is we all get on really well. The, as you know, we have some good fun together, and I was actually looking forward to catching up with the lads again. You know, um, not let alone the players. How do you guys kind of describe the well-being playing style? Are they tough? Do you kind of fear them showing up? I guess. Yeah. Well, we, we, a lot of the Leinster players have had Michael um, Checker as a coach, and they know that he drives them pretty hard in terms of the physical side. So you know that they're going to come out. And, and try to win those physical confrontations. Um, so you've got that, and then you've got some massively um, uh, X-factor players that can, um, you know, turn over. If you don't look after the ball, it could be it could be seven points, you know. Um, so yeah, there's there's an expectation there that there's going to be a game that we have to be clinical in what we do, and um, and then entry points into a test match could be. You know, an Ill, Ill discipline, or it could be a, a drop pass that allows them back in. So, and we, that's probably one of the things that we're going to keep driving. It's one of our strengths is our discipline, and, and try to um, stay in the game that way. If we can. Well, I suppose if you combine what you've got in the Super Rugby franchises into the Wallabies, I think you'll get a really good, solid platform there. I mean, um, again, looking at some of their. Uh, for you, Sabre and Queensland, the Reds, for example, you know they've competed well against some of the better, better four packs at the moment. You know the Lions a few weeks back, and even on the weekend it was a good tussle. So um, they they game ready. That's the other thing, and, um, and I suppose combinations is probably the last thing. But I don't think they're going to come in and reinvent the wheel. They'll do with what works well for them, and and uh, I think it will be a all, all aspects will be tough. You know. Um, well, the, the captaincy is is again. You know, sort of same thing. Like we've had a leadership group that's been pretty solid and tight, and any one of those guys could um, could step in. So um, that's a decision again. I think um, will either be made in the next 24 hours. Um, it could be made in the next hour. Or so yeah, in terms of um, well, there's you know there's uh, CJ, there's um, Pete, Johnny, uh, Besties in there, um, Connor, Ilzy. So it's a good experienced group.